Hi there, this is Unmesh. How are you doing? Hope you're having an amazing day and making it an awesome one. Today I have for you two drop shadow tricks. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop. Have a look at the composite. It's a very beautiful, cute composite and we have a ladybug on a paper texture. So let me just go ahead and explain how I've created this. So I have a simple paper texture right here and I applied a green solid color adjustment layer and changed the blend mode to multiply and above that added some curve to kind of add a little more contrast to it and then a little bit of brightness at the top because I was about to add this ladybug over there and then a little bit of gradient, white gradient just to make it look more realistic, kind of glare-ish from the paper. Okay, now let's have a look at it. I have applied shadow to it. If you click on this drop down button, have a look, drop shadow. Now let's go ahead and delete that and let me apply that for you again because I wanted to show you something. All you have to do to apply drop shadow, right click and go to blending options. This opens the layer styles dialog box. Now inside the layer styles dialog box, there will be something called drop shadow. Now another way of opening the layer styles dialog box is simply double clicking on the right hand side of the layer. It does the exact same thing. Now, here is drop shadow, just turn it on. It adds a drop shadow, that's what it does. Now, you have to select drop shadow to open up the properties of drop shadow. You already know all of this, right? Opacity of how transparent or how opaque the shadow is, distance how far or how near the shadow is, and the angle of light, so this is the angle of light. So if the angle of light is this, the shadow will be on the opposite side, so as I keep on increasing the distance, you see the shadow goes further away. All right, there's the spread. How much do you want the shadow to spread? I usually keep it at zero and size makes it soft. All right, that's pretty much the basics. And if you wanted to move the shadow, you would move the angle and all that stuff. But here's the trick, trick number one. To move the shadow, don't worry about all that. Just worry about the opacity and the size and you're good to go, right? I'll increase the opacity a little bit and here's the trick. To move the shadow, simply drag it in the image. You don't have to do anything. It automatically just adjusts the distance and the angle. So if you wanna move it there, it automatically adjusts that. If you wanna move it here, it will adjust that for you. All you have to worry about is the size. That's all there is. Spread is something I don't control, I'm good at zero percent. I usually would keep it at that. I'm happy with that. And then I can control the size to whatever size I want. Something like that is fine for me. And probably I'll decrease the opacity just a little bit, just like that. And I will hit OK. So that is trick number one, moving the shadow directly from the image. Trick number two, it's also important. Now sometimes you might want to separate the shadow in a separate layer and you might want to adjust it. And there might be cases where you have the subject standing and you want to set just like this. You have the subject standing and you have the shadow just behind the subject, but you don't want it. I didn't want to move the mic just behind the subject. You want to separate the shadow and put it down just like that. So here's the subject, here's the shadow. So in that case, what you might want to do is once you have created the shadow that you want, in that case, what I'll do is I'll just decrease the size to make the shadow more pronounce just like that, something like this. Hit OK. And then what you have to do, you have to go to layer, layer style, create layer. Hit OK. It separates the shadow. Now you have the shadow separate on a separate layer. You can adjust it whatever way you like. So suppose you wanted the ladybug to look like as if she was standing. In that case, you can do that. First of all, let's just turn off this green thing and turn all of that off because she's not standing on paper anymore. Now we created a new layer and we will paint that with white. So press Alt Backspace or Option Delete on a Mac. There we go. And now you can get back to the shadow, Control or Command T. You can shape the shadow in whatever direction you like. See, just like as it was in the air, straight up. Just like that. Maybe a little bit to the right would be okay or let's keep it that way. And then you can add Gaussian Blur, Motion Blur, whatever you want. So I'll simply go ahead, go to File, Blur, and probably I'll add some Motion Blur. And I will increase it, keep the angle zero, 
just like that. After applying motion blur, I'll simply go to filter, blur, and then a little bit of Gaussian blur to make it look more natural, just like that. And you get the idea of what I mean, then probably decrease the opacity, something like this. So those are the two tricks. Trick number one, to move the shadow from the image. Once you're into the layer styles dialog box, once you're into drop shadow, you don't have to mess with the angle or the distance. You just can move the shadow from the image. Just click and drag. Number two, to separate the shadow, all you have to do, you have to go to layer, then layer style, create layer. Right now it's deactivated. Make sure that layer is selected in which drop shadow have been applied, has been applied. Sorry for my grammar. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.